Hello everyone. In the last video, I made a car indicator or a probe like this. I made it for a reason. The central locking does not work in my car. And now I will try to fix this problem with the help of the indicator. Shortly before making such a homemade indicator, I bought myself a store version of it. This is a car indicator from the company Uda. What it is, and how it differs from such a homemade one, I will tell you now. An automotive voltage meter or tester from GVDA, model GD181, is sold in such a box. The standard colors for this company are black and white with a red inscription. Inside the box is a case with a tester and instructions. The instructions give recommendations for working with this device, as well as its parameters, which we will now pay attention to, measurement of constant voltage up to 100 volts. The instructions also say that a voltage of more than 110 volts can damage the device, resistance measurement up to 20 megaohms. The instructions also note that with a resistance of less than 50 ohms, the device operates in the mode of checking the electrical circuit with an audible signal. The tester is compact and convenient. A protective tip is provided for the probe. The wire is very soft and when stretched, its length is more than 1 meter. This tester has a very sharp probe, so it will be possible to pierce the insulation of the wires if necessary. There are only three buttons on the device body. This tester is powered by a single pinky battery. The first button turns the device on and off. To turn it on, you need to press and hold it for a couple of seconds. In this case, the device simply checks the electrical circuit. I'm going to measure the voltage of this battery. 1.55 volts. The next button captures the measurement result on the screen. And the third button turns on the backlight of the screen, and if you press and hold it, then the flashlight turns on. Well, the device is very convenient and functional. This is not just a tester, but a full-fledged voltage and resistance meter. In the description below this video, I will leave a link to the official store of the manufacturer of this tester. By clicking on this link, you can find out all the necessary information about this device, as well as read reviews about it. Now I will try to fix the problem in the car and for sport I will use two indicators to compare them. When the button is pressed, the locks do not work. Very often this happens due to a burnt out fuse, which is installed in front of the central locking control unit. I got to the fuse and the tester shows that it did not burn out. The voltage is slightly more than 12 volts. Since the central locking control unit is not visible, I decided to trace where the fuse wire goes. It is much easier to do this with the help of the indicator.
As a result, it turned out that the wire was connected to something rewound with insulating tape. I was hoping it was some kind of miniature lock control unit or wire connection, but... It all ends here, and the central locking control unit is missing. This means that the central lock is controlled by an alarm system. I got to the alarm and the first thing I decided to do was check the fuses. One fuse is visually intact, but the second one is burned out. It is easy to verify this with the help of the indicator. I replaced the fuse and the central lock worked. As you can see, the car indicator is a very useful thing. Both the homemade and the purchased indicator work great. The advantage of the purchase indicator is that it is more informative. This concludes this video. If you liked it, then click the subscribe button so that you don't miss the new video on my channel, which will appear very soon. I thank you for watching and see you soon.